Welcome back, I'm Rob Lang and this is my game Clomper. You live inside a mechanical ladybird called a Clomper, which you can control by laying pipes to power machines with steam. The outside world is a hellscape that you explore from inside the Clomper, picking up resources and completing quests. If that sounds like fun, like and subscribe for more. In this devlog, I'm going to explain how I improved my adjacency algorithm and how to find edges of a tile. I'm going to jump straight into a piece of the algorithm. If you're new and would like a primer, then please check out the video in the top right where I explain wave function collapse. In wave function collapse, each world square is chosen from a set of tiles. You have to tell wave function collapse which tiles go next to each other. For example, this wall edge piece cannot go to this flat piece, it needs a wall that faces the other direction like this. Initially, I used the location of the tile compared to its neighbours when I built the input 3D model. The corner can only go next to the wall because that's where it is in the 3D model. That's a big limitation. For example, you cannot place two walls next to each other even though to us it's obvious that would be okay. The result is that I'm only letting the algorithm build these square, boring mountains. There are two better ways to do this. The first is to manually go through the input tiles and join them up by writing big lists of what can go next to what. This would be less complex, less likely to create bugs, but very laborious and adds making new tiles a lot of work. Secondly, you could compare the edges. Far more complex and error prone. So let's do that, because this algorithm isn't complicated enough. An edge is a line that connects two points on a triangle. Unity does not have a method to get edges, so I needed to make one. I created a new struct to hold my edge, and for each triangle, I made a new edge to connect each pair of points an edge for AB, BC and CA. And that's it. Once I had the edges, I needed to find only those that lay on the tiles edge. I want to match up tiles to each other. I don't really care about what's in between the tiles edges. We know that the tiles are lined up with a 200 by 200 grid. So this corner is 00, zero. this one is 200, 200 and so on. So the tile edge here has a vertex at 0, 0 and a vertex at 200, 0. Both have the Z are at 0, so we know that's an edge. If we had some complicated shape, Z would be 0 for both ends of any edge. That's how we know what a tile edge is. We also make a note of what side the tile edge is on. So we're going to label those north, east, south and west. Now we know what the tile edges are, it's time to do adjacency. In this simple case, how do we know that these two edges match? An east edge on the wall can only match a west wall on the corner. As humans, we can see that the edge shape is the same, but the computer needs to take more care. We ensure that the vertices are in the same order for both edges and then take a hash. A hash is just a unique integer that represents any data structure. I have a hash algorithm for an edge and then a hash algorithm for a tile edge. They look pretty similar because they are. If you want to know more, I've linked a great John Skeet Stack Overflow answer in the description. We know the tile edges are identical when the two integer hashes match. Then for each tile, we go round north, east, south and west and compare with all the associated edges in the other tiles to find their neighbours. For the tile that I select in Unity, you can see the neighbours with their joining edges lit up using red gizmo lines. There are some things to watch out for. When you use Blender's FBX exporter, it will decide where the triangles go. That's been okay up to now, but I ended up with corner tiles with two edges where the flat tiles had one. So I went into Blender and I dissolved some edges and made new ones to make sure the tile edges matched. The second problem I had was when I was making the edges, 
I was not removing the offset. This edge here is at x200 and this edge is at x being 0. So those two hashes would never be the same. You need to remove the offset for the tiles edge so that here an edge only becomes a list of z and y values. So with a cool new adjacency algorithm, the world's wave function collapse can now build a world which is much cooler, right? Oh, well, maybe not just yet. If you found that useful, hit like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or feedback, please do leave a comment. Until next time, stay safe. Bye bye.